Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Somewhere, Sally Spectra has to be smiling, because at last, it looks like the bold and the beautiful is about to give Forrester Creations some competition. After Zend accuses Ridge of playing favorites with the anointed one RJ on Monday, November 20, M, much the way Stephanie and Eric always did with Ridge, Kristen and Tony's son makes a bold move on Tuesday, November 21, I'll hope, that he's quitting the family business to hang his own shingle. Theoretically, this shouldn't be a problem for the designer. Dad's famous in his own right, and Mom's a filthy rich forester. They could bankroll Zend with petty change from their wallets. Then Zend could take Paris with him. Why not, since the characters have already been Islanded by the show, and bring back Maya to be the face of their brand, Generation Z. Once Zend's first line is ready, he'll plot to not only launch it on the same day as Forrester's next show, he'll present it at Forrester's show, crashing the party and sending Maya and his models up the runway before Ridge and RJ's models can stroll down it. Little trick we learned from Emily in Paris. When all the headlines the next day are about Generation Z's edgy designs and take no prisoners tactics, Ridge's head will explode and he'll declare war on his nephew. He'll be one step behind Zendi though, as he already considered them engaged in a battle royale, which is why he recruits Thomas and Hope to junk ship and bring hope for the future to generation. Don't act all surprised that the twosome would switch allegiances either. It wasn't that long ago that Steffi was threatening to shut down Hope's passion project, and Thomas, like Zend, would have to feel passed over by RJ's meteoric rise to the status of golden boy.